So remember yesterday, we talked about VUCA, that we're living in VUCA times, volatile, uncertain, chaotic, complex, ambiguous times. And in order to thrive, to really flourish in these VUCA times of great change and uncertainty, there are two movements of mind that are really essential that we've been exploring. And this next exercise is going to help deepen in, in each of these movements. So the mindfulness, the two movements are continuing. The first is to continually learning to see clearly what's really important to us. And the second is um, continually, continually learning to see current reality more clearly. What's really going on? What am I actually aware of? What am I actually feeling, thinking, experiencing? So the mindfulness helps us to clarify, to see more clearly what's true, <laughs> what's going on. And this exercise now is going to help also help to clarify what, what, what do I really care about? What's important to me? Where's my passion, my commitment, my dedication? So having these two and working together is really helpful for learning and growing and, and at our highest levels. So this exercise is a kind of a card game. You'll see on the center of your table, somebody could pick up under the number. There's a stack of cards. You can pick these cards up. We, we won't do anything with it yet, but that <laughs> It's a kind of a values yeah. exercise with these cards, kind of values. So rummy. don't do anything with the cards yet. But uh, before we go into the cards, I'd just like to really deeply appreciate the technical staff and the help that they've given us. You know, Elsa, so. Inez, everybody and on staff. Here. <laughs> Deep appreciations. And especially for the, the Elsa crew. and Inez and their team, you know, just for having us so well organized. Just bravo, bravo, yeah, bravo, fantastic. Yes. <laughs> it's always, you know, it's like different people organize meetings in different ways, and this has been really so beautiful. Together. And thank all of you for just your hugely warm welcome to your world and and your love and appreciation. So listen carefully, okay? This is a little complicated. But you have good mindfulness now, so you'll okay. be able to do this. <laughs> so here's what we're gonna do, okay? So uh, you're going to uh, take the cards, take the rubber, rubber band bands, off of the cards, and then with, with the stack of cards, make five small piles on the table face down. Five small piles of cards face down. I think it would be good to also clear the center of, so, no? Be helpful yeah. to clear it a bit, the table. You could clear things off Make in the, the middle table of the table. Make the table as clear yeah, as you can good. so you have more space. Okay. Five small piles. And you know what I, what I suggest, listen up, listen up. I noticed that there's like some small teams like here and here how, and over there as well. Are any other small tables with just three or four people? Raise your hand if there's just three or four people at your table. Anybody else? You okay. could combine and, and have three, a bigger table, four. more cards. How, how about if... Uh, you know, I think the four of you are okay. How about if you three come over here and you can play both teams together? The four people, I think, is okay. Okay, next step. Listen carefully. Everybody take one card From and each. you guys can combine your decks, okay? So you can bring your cards. You'll have more, just combine. more cards. Everybody, everybody take one card from each stack, so you'll have five cards, okay? Or you could deal it. No, don't, 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 don't deal. 
It takes longer. One card from each stack. More like a card game. When yeah. Okay. Next step. Okay, everybody has five cards? Okay, next step. Next step. Take your five cards. Take your five cards and don't hold them in like this. So everybody, put them face, take your cards, put them face up, up. on the table in front of you. It's not a secret. Keep it up. Open. Face up on the table in front of you. Okay, next step. How, how about this, okay, to help us and save my voice for another couple hours here. When you hear the bells during this exercise, go silent, okay? That will be very helpful. Next step is together just uh, from the stacks that are face down, turn over about yeah. 20 cards that are just that'll, face that'll up on the, on the yeah. table. So you'll have the stacks that are down and about 20 cards that are just spread out on the table face up where you can read them. Then yeah, just turn about 20 up like a pool, like, like a common fish pool. But keep your own five. You still need five. I need five. Yeah, everybody still needs five. And then in addition, it's a little pool. But for next step, you'll be picking. Okay. okay. Keep, you, everyone should always have five. You have five? You have five? You still have five? Don't trade any cards. Do not trade any cards. For now, keep the five cards that you okay. picked. So keep the cards that you picked up off of the deck, and you can lust after the ones in the middle if you want. But. <laughs> okay, so here's where we go from here. Listen. So these five cards that you chose off of the deck and ended up with are kind of like when you were born. You got parents, you got genetics, you got socioeconomic conditions, you got a place where you were born. This is sort of like what you got dealt with birth. <laughs> the, the exercise and the game is to say, so what are you going to make out of that? How creative can you be about really determining and being mindful of what's important for you and living the life that you really choose to live, okay? So how this works is we'll go around the table one person at a time. And when it's your turn, you'll look at the cards on the table that you can read that are face up and go, oh, wisdom. I'd really like to have wisdom or love or family happiness or peace of mind. And if you see one that is more valuable to you or more important to you at this time in your life than yeah, one that you have in your the, hand, just a, a few. then you'll choose Ten, that five, card and you'll turn, put one of the cards in your five cards back in the middle face up, okay? And we'll go around the table as many times as we have time for this, one person at a time. Listen, I hear people talking. Please be quiet. Okay? So as you're doing this, to be mindful of how you make decisions, how you set priorities, the images, the ideas, the voices in your mind, the emotions that arise as you're doing this, you'll be mindful of that. And not only while you're speaking and trading cards, but as other people speak, to be mindful how you're touched by what they say. It's like, oh, beauty. You see that quality that way? I, I, that's a new idea for me. I would have interpreted that card in a different way. Also, as you're choosing these, what you want to end up with to, to win at this game. And everybody, everybody can win. 
Okay. Everybody will win. Everybody leaves a winner. <laughs> <laughs> to win at this, you'll end up with five cards that you look at and you go, yes, if I was to be mindful of living true to these five values, I'd be living the life that I want to live right now, okay? Because the mindfulness help, the values Open help focus our mindfulness on what's important to us, okay? okay? <laughs> One last point and then we'll begin, okay? Some of the cards, listen up, some of, some of these values will be values you already have, like integrity or truth or, or kindness. You know, you already have those and you want to affirm that, yes, at this time in your life, that's really important to you. And it's one of your top five, okay? So you want to hold on to that, okay? Some of these are values that you aspire toward, like patience. You'd like to have more of it to develop more. Patience so or wisdom. You. you have some, but you'd like to have more, and they're more aspirational rather than that you already have. It. You'll have a mix of both, okay? If you choose. Um, you can't take cards from other people's hands for now. <laughs> you can be mindful that you'd like that one, but you <laughs> don't. I want love. Don't. But there <laughs> will be a way, I promise you, there is a way in this game to get everything you want. So if somebody chooses a card you want, don't be too sad, okay? So somebody, uh, the first person at your table to raise your hand, you'll begin. You'll, and oh, as you're picking up a card, as you're picking up a card and choosing a card, listen, listen. When it's your turn and you pick up a card, Speak briefly to why are you choosing that card? Why is that important to you? Give voice no, to that. That could be anything you want it to be. Own it. And don't talk about you, you know, like, like when you have wisdom or you have patience. Say, I, yo, you know, it's like, I, you know, if I had greater patience or this is important to me, not important to you. I don't know if you do that in Spanish, but people speaking English oftentimes don't own it. So we're saying, uh, use... This is important to use me Use I statements, okay? Yeah. And one thing, a number of you have, have a card that you picked up that's in your deck that doesn't have any words on it. You may have some blank cards. Those cards are very special. They can be anything you want them to be. If, you, if it turns out at, that maybe there's something you a value that we didn't write down but it's something important <laughs> to you you can take your pen at the end at the very end of the yes. exercise if that's still that's your magic card <clears throat> if that's still yeah if that's still in your hand and you can write down create your own value there and if you have a card that says wild card that either gives you permission to be wild <laughs> or like a blank card it can be anything you want so i'm going to count to three i'm going to count to three and the first person to raise their hand is going to begin, okay? Uno. Uno, tres. Dos, tres. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you begin, okay? <laughs> okay. So who's beginning? Who's first? You are. Okay, so you understand. If you okay. need any help or you're confused, call us, okay? Yes. Except if you see something, if you see something there that it speaks to you more than what you have here, then you pick that up yeah. and you okay. say why you're picking this up so now. Um, you don't have to speak to about necessarily yes. about why yes. you're discarding, but just at this time and in my life, being awake is really important. And then you toss one out. So you only have five cards in your hand and at why. any time. And if you no, don't see face anything, up. Face up. you can try one yeah. or two of the oh. turn down ones. And otherwise, if you're ha most happy with what you have, you can pass, and the other, and there'll be always new cards coming. Okay. Attention. One important point I forgot to say: if you don't see a card that's face up that you want then go to the decks that are face down and choose two cards off of a deck. Up to two. Up to two Maybe cards. Maybe you find the first one is... Just searching for what will the universe give you, okay? 
and then and put it if, in a pile. And put those face up on the table. If, listen, listen, if <laughs> one of those cards that you pick off is good for you, then take that and then discard. When you discard a card, you put it face up oh, so people can read it. Pile. So the uh, cards that are face down is you can kind of go fish from those, okay? All right. And when, if you, don't put it back on that pile. Put it back in the open pool. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Continue on. Okay. And a hush you? fell over the crowd. You're ready to the next stage. Okay. okay. Take it to the next level. Let's all do an ah together, okay? Ah. ah. <laughs> all right. We're going to take the game to the next teachings. level now, okay? Spiritual teaching. Listen carefully. Any from any tradition, just spirit. Listen guides, carefully. Teachings, yeah. Spiritual books. Okay, so there's two parts that come next, okay? W one, and don't take any action as I say this. The <laughs> first part is that if there's any cards that are face down on the table, in a moment you'll turn all of those over and expose them. So you'll expand the possibilities. See, That's all the Not yet. Oh. Not yet. <laughs> Impulse control. Almost. Okay. The second part is once all the cards are visible, then you can look through those, and if somebody's looking for love, help them find love. <laughs> if somebody's find it looking for wisdom, help them find wisdom. If, if you can't find what you're looking for, or if you just don't want to bother looking through them, it just jams your brain too much, <laughs> pick any card you want, turn it over, and make your own card, okay? You Just can make right. that card in any language, in any color, with any words. So in about five minutes, we want everybody to end up with five cards. Listen carefully. Yo back there, listen. <laughs> I know you're having fun, but listen, okay? <laughs> In about five to seven minutes, we want everybody to end up with five cards that you look at and you go, yes, if I really gave my wholehearted attention and I was mindful of these five values, living my life from this moment on, this would be a good set. It, this doesn't mean you don't have 20 other values that are important to you. You're just looking for the top five at this time in your life. That these Wh would be worth getting up for every day to live into these values. Then third step. So you turn them all over, you search for the cards, you end up with your perfect hand. Once you have your five cards, then take a pen, look at each card one by one, and ask yourself, if I was to live in a way that was to really bring this value alive and honor this, what would I do? And then on the back of each card, write instructions for yourself for how to live that value, how to bring it alive through your behavior, through your action. Okay? At, least one, at least one step in that direction. Someone you're e something you are either doing now you would continue to do or something that you're not doing now that you could start to do. If, you, if I say health is important to me, right on the back. So what could I be doing to move more into a healthy lifestyle? One action or behavior, at least one, you can have more. So the turn back. them over, find your five cards, write your notes. Okay. And then let's and when go people quiet. start, When yeah. people start to write, when the first person at your table starts to write, everybody at the table go quiet, okay? To give each other So everybody can listen to you. Okay. If you haven't, listen up. If you haven't ended up with your five cards yet, this is the time, okay? Make your best decision, and everybody go silent now. 
Everybody go silent and just create some quiet moments here for people to reflect and make your notes on your cards, okay? So everybody quiet, no talking. Finalize your decisions, make your notes on the back of each card. So everybody listen for just a moment. I'll tell you we're going to do the, the last piece here, okay? So one by one, we'll, you'll go around the table and you'll just read off the five cards like love, wisdom, health, family, whatever it is. Just read the five and then briefly, really briefly, speak to one and why that's important to you in your life or how you want to bring that alive, what you might do. Just speak to it briefly, not more than a minute per person. Um, and then go to the next person. So you read them so everybody has a sense for it. And if you're listening, really be mindful how you're touched by what you hear. Be mindful that you're through this exercising, you're having a chance to look more deeply into the true depth and dimension of this person and to see them, you know, like, like the waters becoming clear so you can see into the depths of that person in a deeper kind of way that you work with. And to appreciate what's really important to this group of people that you work with. And perhaps you never saw that perspective of, of their life before that they're sharing with you. So to really give each other your full attention, your full respect and honoring. Okay, so whoever, be, whoever wants to begin, the first person just start, start to speak and then go around the table just briefly read and then share about one of your cards, okay? Yeah. 